written a script for performing linked clones. Uh, I'm going to show you first why we do linked clones. So by doing a native clone of a virtual machine, you can see the steps necessary to go through. You have to type in the name of your uh, new clone. Let's call it Win 10 Guest 2. You then have to pick your folder location. You have to pick your resource location. You have multiple clusters. Pick your storage. Uh, determine if you want customizations. I'm going to skip that. And then the clone begins. And as you can see down here, it's a what's called a full clone. So if that that source VM is 60 gigabytes, then it takes um, the time it takes to copy 60 gigabytes. However, the script I'm about to show you that runs in PowerShell it will perform a linked clone in seconds. So we're going to wait for this to finish here and then I will show you the linked clone which will perform this in just a few seconds. Cloning is wrapping up and you can see that it took a total of 7 minutes and 15 seconds from first click to completion to do a clone. Now we're going to see what it's like to use the linked clone process using a script. The name of the script is new linked clone and it only requires one parameter and that's your source. You can put that as a name. Now you can provide other param parameters. If I want to give it a target name, I can. It will default. If I want to change the number of CPUs, let's say I want four CPUs and eight gigs of memory, I can do that. But I don't have to do anything. It will be a complete clone otherwise. But I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And you'll see how long it takes here. There's the clone right there, and you can see that took just a few seconds. So that's the difference between a linked clone and a standard vCenter or VMware clone.